Hey guys, I'm gonna try my hand at this music thing again because I definitely think this album is worth it and it is Tessa Violet's debut album, Maybe Trap, Mostly Trouble. Well, I always try to make sure I can at least hear part of the album before I actually go and buy a full album. So Pandora helps me out with that a lot, Spotify helps me out with that a lot. Um, but I actually got to hear a good amount of the tracks for this album when I got to see Tessa perform live at Playlist Live, which was really awesome and she did fantastic with that. So a little bit on who the artist is, if you're not familiar with Tessa Violet, you may be know her as Mika Kitty because that is her YouTube channel and she makes great stuff anyways. Um, her music is great, her voice fits the style of music that she has on this wonderfully awesome album. And some of my favorite tracks on the album are Sorry Not Sorry, Spend Some Time, and Make Me a Robot. Out of those three, I'd have to say Make Me a Robot is my all-time favorite just because I identify with the lyrics really well. It just, it really hits home for me. I guess if it had to be classified in a genre, it'd be alternative. It all sounds really great and it's very pleasing to the ears, at least it's pleasing to mine. Like, it's just really cool and you should really just go check it out. Tessa actually did a little lip dev video for her album with some of those songs and you can go check that out. I'll have a link in the description for that. I'm gonna get into a little bit as to why those songs are specifically my favorite. Uh, it's been some time for me. I don't remember, I don't know if y'all remember when I did this video, but it was on the love languages. And number one for me is quality time. So that one I really enjoy just because it really emphasizes the importance of quality time and how that can show love to somebody. And yeah, I really like that. Sorry or not sorry, it's just really catchy and it's very empowering if you get what I mean. But it, I'm not saying that that's something that's going on in my life, but I don't know. I just really like it. It's catchy and it gets stuck in my head a lot. Uh, but Make Me a Robot hits home for me so many times. Tessa actually shared a story about it like, as to what inspired the song in the first place. And that was it had to do with something that had to do with her anxiety. And I can relate in the sense of like, you're just tired of feeling emotions. Therefore, you just kind of want to break down and no longer really be human because when you're being human, you have to feel emotions, which is unfortunate. Overall, I really, really enjoy this album. All the songs are great. I just, you know, named a few that I really, really like because those are the ones that I kind of play and repeat a lot. So, uh, so that's really all for that. I hope this one went a little bit better than the last one. It's, it's probably going to take me a while to figure out exactly how to flow with the music stuff. Or maybe I should just mix it all together. We'll see. But that's all for now. See you next video. Bye! Why won't they turn the air conditioning on? Maybe that should be turned into a song. A song about air conditioning. If that's something that we're lacking here right now. Kind of sucks. I don't know.